Hello guys, this is H1S Warrior, and today um, I'll be showing you how to make a 3D map model using Google Earth and a few another application, um, and then importing it into 3D map, 3ds Max, and make it 3D. Okay, um, so this is how it will look like. You can make it. Uh, you know, more mountainous, I guess. Um, more steep. And, you know, here if you just add a normal gray map, this is how it looks. So it's pretty detailed. Um, yeah. Alright, so uh, what you want to do is just go to um, this web and just uh, download. Either you can read here the uh, tutorial on how to do it or just watch the video. Uh, you choose um, here, download Google Earth and download the plugin for it download microdem and you don't need DJ Unreal <coughs> if you have 3D Max um, and then just have a photo editing program so what you do next is run the plugin for uh, Google Earth uh, just the SRTM41 Okay, then you just activate the plugin if it's not already activated, and you activate, um, you select the elevation, um, and here what it does, it just, you know, basically makes, uh, gives the elevation of each place, and you can uh, then download the uh, rectangular area. So. For this purpose, I'm going to use a place in China. Um, the uh, this is data for SRTM fifty seven oh six. So you just want to click the yellow house thing, and you just wait until um, it gives you a uh, a few links to download the area from. It'll download this, just this rectangular part. Okay, um, here for some reason it's really slow, so what you want to do is just copy the link. And on your search bar, just paste it. And I already have it downloaded. Okay, well, I'll just show you the downloaded one. And for, you know, uh, if you want a texture added to it, what you do is you just uh, deselect the plugin, deselect all the layers, and you just take a screenshot, make sure it's centered, um, and then you just paste it and crop it on your paint. <coughs> okay. Um, let's see. Now you just open up your microdem. Uh, you go to file, open, open dem. Uh, then you go to your SRTM uh, 5706 is mine, but make sure it's .asc. So you just open it up. It'll take a a little bit. But yeah, um, if you want the texture, you just what I do is just um, center it, take out the.
plug in and take out the layers, just print screen, paint, open new. And then just save it as a, a JPEG. And import it into your model. Okay, so this is the map. Uh, it's done reading the file. Um, if it's too big for you and you want to crop it, just select this button, subset and zoom, and you drag for from north, west to southeast. <coughs> and it will crop the place selected that area so we'll just crop to undo you just click undo um undo subset okay so me uh okay so what you want to do right now is right click display parameter elevation scale yes um, then make sure your grid grid is on neither um, then you want to go to um, legends and you want to make sure you have all legends turned off um, then you just want to save it as a BM Okay, so you just open up, and well, this is the map. And what I did here, it's just saved it as a JPEG, and then I just, you know, uh, open a new 3D Max. Okay guys, uh, so next, open up your Autodesk 3D Max, and what you do now is just make a plane, oh, sorry it's lagging, um, size, use the uh, size of your um, height map, unless you want to use the actual size, you just go to your micro dem and you just go to info full dem info and I'll just give you the actual map size okay for this purpose the for this the size is 702 For your segments, make sure they're uh, 400, depending on the size of the map. And what you want to do next is just let's take these off. You go to um, press M and you go to Material Editor, and on the diffuse, click the blank button. Uh, bitmap. And then you go to your height map, open, then you click the assign material to selection and the show shaded material, and it'll show on the app. Okay, um, then the next thing to do is click the go to parent, and then click, or actually drag the map, diffuse map, onto the, the material and click or choose instance and then after you've done that you go to your modifier list on your, your plane and you click displace choose displace and you drag your uh, plane material to your map choose instance and uh, 
one's good. And now the last step is just to um, increase your strength. And we're just here I'll choose about 150 for strength. It should be fine, I think. Too much. Maybe seventy-five. Oh, come on. Maybe did it change? All right. Let's see. That's your map. Um, if uh, you want to add your texture, Google Map text, you just open your material editor and um, go to Diffuse, Bitmap. <coughs> Choose the texture you want and just apply. And there we go. That's oops. that's your map, of course. Um, this texture isn't that great, but you know. There you go, and yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.